to make sure, man. Girl, this to my low neck work connection. Is it on? Is it on, honey? Is this bitch recording? What's up, YouTube land, Twitter land, Instagram land, Snapchat, Grinder Scruff, BGC Eject, Facebook Periscope, and last but not least, every single one of uh, my bitches, Christian Mingle, and the lands all across the land. This is your girl, T.S. Mass, and I'm coming to you loud, live, and always, and forever, in color from the car. Girl, oh, I got old messy bun up here, girl. Good morning. Y'all already know it's time for my car chats. I'm about to run over here and get me a, one of these lattes, girl, and something to eat. Bitch, y'all know I'm fat, bitch, early in the morning. All right. Let me put my seatbelt on. <clears throat> but before I get started, I already asked y'all, was it on? I don't know, because I got a lot of shit I want to talk about this morning on my way to get me something to eat. Bitch. And yes, I should cook at home, but I don't. I don't need y'all advice telling me I should cook at home, but bitch, because I don't. All right. The connection going to go in and out. Y'all know what kind of neighborhood I live in. Y'all know I live around the trees, honey. The pools and the trees and the motherfucking bees and all that bullshit. So I'm gone. Here we go. We all. Girl. So, I want to talk about something that I saw floating around on the Instagram and things this morning. I mean, not Inst yeah, the Instagram, the Twitters, you know, all the lands all across the land this morning. All right, ho, shut your goddamn mouth. Now, y'all see, I'm way down the street now. And this, the motherfucking thing is going off. I'm way down the street. And the damn thing going off. Bitch, that lets you know, don't put, I, I will blow your brains out before you get to my house. So don't even pull up in the cola sack. I'll fuck you up. But that's another story that ain't that what I'm talking about. All right. So let, I was on the Twitters and stuff this morning because, you know, I like to gather up my teas and things before we get ready to talk about this stuff. I seen RuPaul at the Emmys. RuPaul won an Emmy. Congratulations to RuPaul. I seen the girls from Pose. They, wrote, they won an Emmy. Billy Porter won the Emmy. Billy Porter took it home for the team. Now there was a woman on Twitter who had. Let me. Let me I'm gonna actually look up, so I don't want to say a woman. Let me get it right here. Let me get right here and do the things. Uh, do the things. The woman's on the Twitter name was Danielle Young. Danielle Young. She was. She was depressed in the back back there, and and um. She asked a question to RuPaul about the diversity, you know, on on RuPaul's show. The diversity when 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 RuPaul goes up there to accept his Emmy, we she talked about the diversity of people, you know, that, that's standing up there in the back accepting the award with him because they saw a whole sea of of white people. They saw a whole sea of white people in the back back there, and. This is RuPaul's, I don't know, RuPaul don't got so many Emmys and all that stuff. But we see a whole line of white folks back there. And, 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 and contrary to popular belief, those line of white people that's back there, we're picking up the the, the, um, the Emmy with RuPaul. Those are my friends. Like those people, those every one of those people up there, I know. Randy Barbado, Felton, I mean, Randy Barbado, Felton. Fenton, excuse me, Randy and Fenton, Tom, you get what I'm saying? I know those people back there. I know all those people that was up there on the stage with RuPaul or whatever, you know? And so, I, I mean, I looked at it from a perspective. I called Craig this morning, early, after I was looking at it on the Twitter, and Craig said to me, he says, Madison, you know, this is what I be talking about, about, you know, stuff with uh, about you know when, when black people get to a place it's in the other booth and I, I put my hand up and I stopped I stopped Craig I stopped Craig you know I said Craig listen we don't know RuPaul we, we know RuPaul backstory but we don't know RuPaul's full backstory you feel me so I can only use my story as an example I can only use my story as an example. 
when you in this business or you in the entertainment business and you trying to you trying to come up and you trying to you trying to you know pull yourself and and not claw your way to the top but work your way to the top and you're working your way to the top or whatever the first the first two things that you're going to meet on your journey up is resistance and you're going to meet oppression and you're going to meet them in the first two places from your own people you're going to meet them from your if you color if you color and I'm well let me just keep this in a colored realm since we're talking about, when you're colored you're going to meet them from your black people first you're going to meet them from your blacks. Then, if you gay, you're going to meet them from your gays. If you trans, you're going to meet them from your trans. You're going to, this the first thing, this is the first thing that's going to happen. Those are the loud, those are the, those, that's the loudest, they're the loudest that's going to speak against you. The loudest. They're going to pump their fist, their arms, and their, what you call it, against you. Yes, you're going to get your support from your people because they're going to be your group of people that believes in you. They're going to believe in you. They're going to believe, you know what I'm saying, in, in the in the spirit. They're going to believe in the journey. They're going to believe in you're going to believe in that and they're going to they're going to uh, they're going to uh, attempt to assist you in your rise going up. But the first to meet you with resistance and uh, and it's going to oppress will be your own it will be your own okay now craig spoke into my spirit this morning okay and when craig spoke into my spirit this morning yes i met him and i'm not gonna even tell y'all no lie ain't gonna lie yes i met craig with man fuck them niggas fuck them pussy ass niggas they do me the same motherfucking way bitch they act like they do me this oh, this was my first thing that i said and Craig said to me, Madison, you can't say fuck them niggas. And you can't say fuck that shit because at the end of the day, look at your staff of people. The staff of people that you have working for you now is black and gay. And some, and this is and straight, but they're black. I say, I'm not talking about those people, Craig. I'm talking about that. I'm talking about the people that have met me. I said, and then I gave him an example because Craig came and poured me some tea. Craig was recently at a place where he was booked to speak. Whoop de whoop. Blah blah blah. At an organization where they where they have funneled money into a black organization. I'm not gonna speak say of the organization because I don't I don't know their name. But they funneled money into a black organization. And there's a there's a there's a particular person there that has been trying to book me. To come and you know communicate with the black folks and this and the other whatever. However, the first thing that they they was met with, oh no, Craig, we can't do this with her because of whoop de whoop. Now everybody knows that I'm very open about my about my past with the, with the adult in the table, But that but that's exactly what it is. It's my past. It is it is not, and I will not be held prisoner to that. Okay, so I'm, this is gonna be one of those those things that I'm gonna talk real deep. I will not be held prisoner to my past. They've they they've got this money and they've decided that every year they're they're not I'm not we're not gonna let the TS in we're not gonna we're not gonna book her we're not going to what you call the TS and I'm fine with that because see bitch this is why this is why it's imperative that you this is why it's imperative that you continue as a African American person and or a person that's a, that's a part of a marginalized group. Or whatever, you have to continue to move and and press forward in your own business practices and your own thing, pave your own lane because there are people out there that are designed or that have that will hold you prisoner to something that's your past, and it will be your own. It will be your own. Not to say, and I, I don't. I'm not in no way at this moment lifting up, uh, downgrading my own people of color or downgrading my LBGT people. And lifting up others, I'm just talking about my experience. So accept it for what the fuck it is. This is my experience and I'm talking about it. Okay? I ain't lifting up and putting down nobody because I've been met with oppression, aggression, and resistance from both sides. However, I can speak from a from a from a place 
okay? From a place of, of, of color. Craig told me the man was like, girl, we've been trying to get her this and the other, but they just won't let her through. I was like, Craig, don't ask them, don't tell them motherfuckers nothing about me. Bitch, I don't gotta walk in the room and prove myself to now, bitch. I don't have to walk in the room and prove myself. I'm TS Master, bitch. I don't have to walk in the room and, and tell now, bitch, who I am. At all. Especially a bitch that know me that can tell me about my past, bitch. I don't gotta prove I don't have I don't have to prove nothing to a motherfucker. Not now, not never. Cause bitch, just as sure as you know what my past is, bitch, you definitely see what's going on in my present, bitch. You definitely see what goes on in my presence. So, bitch, I ain't got to prove nothing to you motherfuckers. Okay? So, <clears throat> and I don't need a bitch money. I make my fucking own. So, Craig was like, you know, I've been telling y'all. Why do y'all keep, this, this is where y'all fall short at. You know what I'm saying? You got a key component and you missing that component because or whatever. But you will bring a motherfucker from the side. But anyway, that's a whole nother. Because I don't want to even sound bitter about that. Because I don't give a fuck about no, about no person's booking money. I don't give a damn about that. <laughs> that don't mean shit to me, bitch. Because T.S. will make her own way in the world. Been doing it before, bitch. And even knew how to book me. Um, That's one thing. Uh, Go... Put put in Google's go go in Google's right now. Put in, you know, something about T. S. Madison. First couple of things come up. Black folks tear me up. Black folks tear me up, bitch. Tear me up, reading me. You know, here I go. Gay, gay black folks making whole video, spinning narratives out in the street about me, bitch. Untrue narratives about me. You know what I'm saying? Want to continue to defame my character. All of these things, right? So I sit here. I'm looking at all this stuff. When my career, I talk about this all the time. When I first jumped out into my career, the first people to make, to meet me at the line and to meet me with acceptance was the people of the non-color experience. <laughs> They were the first ones to meet me with, hey, you know, Madison, you know, they, they, those were my first sets of bookings. So here's the problem that I got with, with black people, minority, you know, this is the problem I got. The problem I got is when you popping, when you popping, had they come, oh my God, I always loved you. Oh my God, you know what I'm saying? Oh my God, I always love you. And you know, we, we I've always supported you. That, how? He called me. Bitch, I got the same email, the same phone number, the same motherfucking POC, the point of contact, the same Instagram, the same Twitter. I got the same, how you ain't, how you ain't. And let me tell you something. A lot of these people that you see on, on motherfucking TV, you ain't hear shit about them people because nobody was try nobody was trying to even introduce you or put them. As soon as they get on out of everybody, oh my God, I love them. Oh, I love, I love that everybody try to motherfucking t attach they self. They try to attach they self to you. They, they try to lock on to you then. You feel me? Do you do you feel me when I'm speaking? I need to take my glass off. Do you feel me when I'm speaking? Feel me on this. Oh my God. And I and you know, for me, for me, okay. I love you, but I got to block you, girl. Hold on. I I I I just sorry, Erica, you gotta go. But for me, this is for me. I look at RuPaul and I say, RuPaul got a whole line of folks in the back back there. They all white folks. And you don't know how many, you don't know how many black folks drop RuPaul. You don't know how many black folks, you don't know how many white folks drop RuPaul. This is why it's important for us as black people to support our people from the ground up. It's important because you don't never know who going to make it. You don't never know who going to be the big, the big blowout, the big breakout, the big jump out. This, you don't know who going to be there. You have no idea. And then 
you 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 sit up there and you sit up there and you <laughs> you want to get mad at people or you want to hold people accountable for not having a diversity in the back when they was trying to be diverse with some shit and you still you met them with a with 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 oppression you met them with oppression you met them with resistance then they get to a spot and you just got to critique them all the way down to the line. You got to just critique them. Got to critique them. You got to critique. Oh, they ain't got enough blacks. They ain't got enough Spanish. They ain't got enough this. They ain't got enough that. Just like me. Hold on. Let me use me for an example. I got my own motherfucking show sitting down here in my, listen, my basement tire is raggedy. When me and the motherfucking other hoes split up from each other, my shit was done failed. The numbers went down. This and all this shit that I'd have met, been, been met with by, by these people. Hold on. Hello? I'll be right with you. Okay. All this shit I done been met with my, pe my peoples. Mine. My blacks. <laughs> my gays. My train. I done met. Then... I revamped the show. I started having a motherfucking different set of guests. Whooping through. Whooping, whooping, whooping. And here we go. With. Now you ain't got enough trans people on your show. Yes. I'd like to have a chai tea latte. What size? Vente. Ice. Latte. Yes, I'd like that with um made with soy milk. Okay. I'd like to have that with um uh two squirts of 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 caramel. Okay. And a little cinnamon powder, and that'll be all. And let me have a no. Uh, a venti iced chai tea latte with two pumps of caramel, made with soy, and a little bit of cinnamon powder. Is that it? Yes. And let me have a a, a protein box, egg and cheese. Egg and cheese. Let me check and see if I have it. Hold on. Yes. Hello. I have to go run out in here and see if we have it. Hold okay. On. Hello. Well, girl, I'm in the car. I mean, it's gonna do that, but it will be, it will play co completely correct on YouTube because I'm gonna load this up. Mm -hmm. Okay. So okay, I, I do okay. Have egg and cheese protein box. Okay, I'd like to have that. Okay, let me get that in for you. Hold okay, on. Okay, it's gonna be twelve forty one. Thank you. Yeah. Some of y'all, this is going to crackle and pop. Craig is calling me. This is going to crackle and pop. But when I load this on YouTube, I'm going to load this on YouTube um, and it will uh, play in its entirety because I'm going to download it and it's going to play fine. So y'all can sit in through it or whatever. But after I load this up on YouTube, if you're watching it on YouTube, it will run smooth this morning. But I'm going to continue with my conversation. I'm going to continue with my conversation. Craig, I mean, I would like to bring you on. However, we'll just have to do this, like sit down together and do this because, you know. Okay, okay, bye. So this is so now it becomes not now now I don't have enough I don't have enough trans people on on my bench or I don't have <clears throat> enough gay men on my bench or. Oh, am I only doing it with all women? It's just like it becomes a, a complete complaint from everybody, from all sides. Everybody start complaining about this and this and this and this and the other. Now, I'm going to tell you this right here. If anybody thinks that I'm at the peak of my career, bitch, you're crazy. Bitch, I ain't even scratched the surface of where, where, my, shit, where my shit is going to go. I, I don't give a fuck how long it takes. I don't give a damn. I seen it in the vision. I know it. When I get to that space, and mark my words this day, you will see a bunch of white faces, and you gonna see a bunch of black folks. You feel me? Because for one, I'm go I'm 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 gonna be the blackest motherfucker that I need. Okay, I'm gonna be the blackest motherfucker that I need. However, 
I, I, I understand the game. I understand business. I understand how the shit go, whatever. They won't own all of the motherfucking shit. And I don't kiss ass. But, bitch, I know who ass, bitch, that I'm not going to motherfucking take a chunk out of. I know that. So if any of you bitches around here cross and think that I'm at the place where I'm going to always be, bitch, you're crazy. Know that. So I look at the thing with RuPaul and all the diversity stuff. Like Y'all don't even know. <laughs> well, it's so, I, 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 listen, if I sat and told y'all a whole bunch of shit on this live, y'all will find out a lot of my business. Y'all will find out a lot of shit in my business about who, what, when, where, and how is in my career right now. And I'm not going to give y'all that, that that privileged information. I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to say is, is this. When I open those doors to my shows, the faces are black. Heterosexual black women, gay black men, trans women. So there's no way I'm going to say every, fuck all the black folks and this and the other. I, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. And thank you, Craig, for putting me in my place with, girl, because I did say that this morning. Girl, fuck them black, fuck all them niggas with that bullshit. Fuck them niggas. Them niggas don't support, they, they don't support Ru. You, when, when the last time you seen BET invite RuPaul to anything? When you seen that? BET, our black, RuPaul is black. When the last time you seen them do anything? RuPaul is an icon, bitch. I-C-O-N. When have you seen them invite her to anything? When? Where they at, though? <laughs> what articles do you see the black, the black experience writing about RuPaul? And the success of RuPaul's show and this and the other. Oh, because it's gay and stuff like that? He's black. He's black. He's black. Oh, he a set. Oh, y'all want to say he a sellout because he got a white team of people behind him who was down with him in the 80s, bitch. Who motherfucking was with him on the side when RuPaul wasn't even doing nothing. And they was trying to motherfucking pull RuPaul up to get because they because they saw the, the, the gift in RuPaul and everybody else done tossed the child to the side. Everybody done tossed him to the side. Oh, OK. Right. These are the questions. I'm I'm the type of bitch that's gonna ask these questions. Like if a person be like, oh well, well, where's the diversity when RuPaul was coming up? Where is the where is the people that was diversely intricate to his career coming up? Where is that? Where where is that? Cause I see black people on the side screaming and hollering. You know what I'm saying? RuPaul too white. RuPaul to this, RuPaul to that. RuPaul name scratch all over the world. This motherfucking man got, got got conventions in his name. Got got fucking fucking <sighs> bitch. That thing is a brand. A brand. Y'all don't never talk. I don't see y'all in the black media talk about the child unless it's some. When the war come up, the first thing y'all want to talk about is where we at, where we at, where y'all was at when the shit down. Where, where y'all was at when, 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 the sh when, see, you got to be in that bitch when it's down, when the motherfucker down trying to come up. Don't just want to be included when they shining. I'm telling y'all this now. Okay? I'm saying this to y'all motherfucking ass now, bitch. I'm not gonna I, I'm not gonna be in the ways where there's an absence of black people when my when my star continues to rise. And I'm not gonna be where there's an absence of trans. I'm not gonna be where there's an absence of gay men. I'm not gonna be where there's an absence of, of lesbian. I'm not gonna be where there's an absence of it. However, I'm going to voice that when in my in my rise to the press that came out about me um, from 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 the majority 
of the press that came out about me was bad. Was bad. It was a lot of a lot of it. A lot of it. Not all of it. A lot of it came from my own people. See, this is the thing that I have a problem with. People want to talk about shit like, you know, our people this and our people that. When when our people are the first to meet you with rejection. The first. Because they don't see the vision of it, because it, it don't fit into it. This ain't this ain't a, this don't fit. This don't fit in well. This don't mesh with what I'm thinking. And because you're this, it ain't gonna happen. Because you're that, it's not gonna happen. They've they've already closed their eyes to the vision for uh, for you. This is why you got the, the whatever. Man, people be, people be asking me, well, why you ain't on this show? Why you ain't on that show? Why you ain't on this? Or the, them bitches don't talk to me about that. I don't give a fuck. Listen, or well, sometimes they may they may they may hit me with something, or they may communicate with me with something, but it don't it don't manifest because they don't they don't be persistent with it. But I'm not gonna put my motherfucking people down. That ain't gonna happen. I'm just gonna talk about my experience and my experience with my people. Bitch, I've had some great, great opportunities presented to me. Bitch, Lee Daniels. Bitch, Lee Daniels hit me out the blue and, put, and, put, and whooped me in the room with Fox, with Fox people. Hi, good morning. You got that chai tea latte? Yes. Yes. I got paid off of a catchphrase that I said on my Instagram live, and, and, and Lee Daniels made sure that happened for me. Thank you. And Lee Day has made sure that that happened for me. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Lee Day was like, she's not going to leave this place. Lee Day was like, she's not going to leave this place without her getting paid. She's not, y'all, and we're not going to use anything of any of her verbiage without her being paid for what she has said and me thanking her for allowing us to, you know, Use a catchphrase that she that she did and integrated into our show. Lee Daniels made sure that those that motherfucking Fox bust me a check. Now Lee Daniels made sure that Fox bust me a check every single motherfucking week for two years straight. For two years, he made sure that that they bust me a check for two years straight. Doing that after show, cause they were paying me. To do that. I wasn't just turning my camera on, bitch, and it was just this oil. They was they was scraping me, bitch, and my hair, and my hair, and makeup people. They were scraping me. They, they, bitch, it was separate checks going to zip. He made sure that I was paid for my services, bitch. Let me keep on going. Since we keeping it all the way two thousand. The company that's behind my motherfucking career from the beginning has been World of Wonder, bitch. Who produced this RuPaul's Drag Race, motherfucking million dollar listing, all this stuff. They have fought tooth and nail for the TS, bitch, to, have, to be on television. Tooth and nail. And they're behind me as we speak. As we speak. Bitch, I done been in front of every executive, every executive and network owner, bitch, known to me, all the way from Viacom. Check my Instagram, from Viacom all the way, bitch, to to, to to TV networks that I didn't even know existed, because they've been behind me, pushing, fighting, windmilling for me. These white people, them same white people that y'all still there getting those Emmys, those two, three white people, Randy, Fenton, and Tom, been fighting for me, bitch. Windmilling for me. We windmilling right now, bitch. If you want to keep it all quiet as it's kept, we windmilling at this exact moment. I, listen, so I ain't got shit negative to say about rule and shit negative to say about any of that stuff that come along with why this and the other, why the diversity is. Can there should there be some change in the camp? Yes. There should be some additions to certain things, yes, because I do feel like that when you get to a place where where where, where, where we start letting Caucasian people tell African American stories, they don't know. They need the meat and potatoes to the situation. They need it. Bitch, what time is it? 10:30. Damn, I missed the other breakfast. I got to get this bullshit here. Hold on a minute, y'all. Hi. Good morning. Could I have a um, number seven, please? Hot I'd like syrup. Okay. 
Um, and let me have a uh, egg and cheese. I'm sorry? Let me have a, a um, egg white delight McMuffin. Okay. What did you want to drink there, number seven? Uh, I'd like that to ha I have that with an orange smoothie. I'm sorry? Orange smoothie. Or, I'm sorry, hun. Our smoothie and frappe and slushy machine is very detail clean. Can I offer you an orange? Oh, yeah. Well, as long as y'all clean it, give me an orange juice. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. So, two burrito meal with syrup, no sauce, a delight, no orange juice. Like a free choice? Um, no. I'd like to have a number two, please. Okay. With an orange juice. All right. Then I can put your order? Yes. Better bring a total to 1547. Thank, Thank you. you. So yes, I do feel like that there needs to be some diversity in the way to, in the way that think in the way that stories are being told. I do feel like that yes, there should be that type of stuff or whatever. You know, RuPaul has RuPaul has paved the way for me and any entertainer out there that's LBGT. Hi. Yes, good morning. How are you? I'm okay. There you go. Thank you. One moment. Have Thank you. One. You too. So I'm saying this and saying to y'all, it's imperative that we support our black people while they down. And not try to tear them up on they come up. Hey, good morning. How you doing, friend? You don't feel good? Uh-uh. We got to pray this away. What's wrong with you? Heavenly Father, we pray any nauseous and sickness and all types of bad diseases away from my sister in the name of Jesus. This woman got to work today. We bind it up and cast it out. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen yes. That's my good girlfriend, honey. I I you gonna feel about her because that came from a genuine place, girl. Hi, good morning. How you doing? You know. I felt that one down in my soul. You about her. You put me some syrup in there, baby? Oh, you did. Okay, thank you. Have a good day, my love. You too, baby. So, we got to support our black folks. Because, see, sometimes our black people get up and we get in a space where we are where we have the ability. Or we, have the, we get in a spot where we do make it. And we think about all those times when we were shunned by our own. We think about all those times where we were put out by our own. We think about those times when our own has been it has been someplace in the media bashing, clawing, tearing down. You know what I'm saying? Making everything about you awful. We think we we we, we remember that stuff. Us, us people that be on the rise are trying to come up. Don't try to attach yourself to me, bitch, in my winning season. Don't try to attach yourself to me in my winning season, bitch. Or you don't, don't just celebrate. Bitch, you got to talk about when I was going through my struggle. And bitch, no one was there to help me. No one. Or my own was there clawing me down in my back. Swooping down like an eagle. With their talons out. Digging in my back. Digging. Go look around and see who fuck who tear me up. My own. My own black. My own gay. That don't mean that I don't see any white people tearing me down or I don't see any white entities or any white places with negativity. Um, that don't mean I don't see because I see that motherfucking shit too. However, the refuge that I need to be able to... When, I, when I'm being oppressed by the oppressor, I should be able to, to seek refuge in my own, with my own, what's familiar to my own. That doesn't mean that my, my people shouldn't chastise me or shouldn't, you know, uh, 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 tell me when I'm wrong or whatever. That does not mean that. What it means is, bitch, when it's time for me to seek refuge from the storm, I should you I should receive an open arm or open invitation to receive refuge from the storm from my people. I should. Because you get to see you people get the journey confused. They get the destination confused with the journey. Sometimes, bitch, on our journey, the car parks because it might have ran out of gas. Or it might have motherfucking... The tire went flat. Or it hit a, a speed bump so hard that it towed the front end up. But bitch, you get out there. For those people that are interested in getting to their to the to the destination, you get out there and you are trying you get out there, you repair your car, or you pump up the tires on the car, or bitch, you try to get out of that accident. 
See, everybody sat back and they read me. They do all this stuff. Bitch, bitch, do you actually think that the basement is my final destination? Bitch, you're crazy. I work hard. I, I, keep, my, I keep myself visible. I work hard. I do what I need to do. But in, my, in the back of my brain, I remember those people that helped me. I remember all those, whether they were colored or uncolored, whether they were seasoned meats or unseasoned meats, bitch. I remember that. I remember that because it's important for me to remember that. It's important for me to do that. But it's also important for my people not to be, not to badly imprint on me. It's important for my people not to motherfucking be back there and try to give me the most resistance. It's important. It's important for that to be because when you get to that destination that the people are looking at for you thinking of that, when you get to that destination, you remember that shit and you like, mm -hmm, fuck y'all. Fuck y'all niggas. Y'all niggas don't try to attach y'all shit to me. Don't try to attach y'all shit to me because bitch, when I was going through the go through, bitch, you were helping push the car down the hill. You were helping flatten the tires, bitch. You were helping tear up my front end. You were helping that happen for me. You were helping that. You were assisting. You were assisting, bitch, in trying to 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 stop the, the destination. You were you were you were assisting in that. And by somehow, some means, some way, I made it to the destination where I where the vision has where the vision that I saw in my eyes was taking me. Now all of a sudden. You motherfuckers be want to attach yourself. You want to attach yourself to a situation. And then you want all the glory, but you don't want none of the motherfucking goddamn. You want the glamour and glitz, but you don't want none of the garbage. You don't want none of the bumps on the on the, on the the fucking journey. You don't want none of the, the, the accidents that happen. You don't want none of the flat tires. You don't want none of that. You don't want any of that shit, but you want to, you want to, you want to be celebrated and whoop de whoop and you the mother, mother this is the, this, dog, the team that I got around me is African American, okay, my team is African American, my makeup artist, my, and, and gay, and gay, but see, when I get to where I'm going, that ain't going to be the only one, the only sets of people that I have around me. Hell yeah, it's going to be some white faces, bitch. You're going to see them same white faces that you see on the back behind RuPaul right now. You're going to mark my words. You're going to see those same faces, those same eyes, those same people standing there. And, I, and what you're going to see, you're going to see, you're going to see, you will see some diversity in things with me. However, I have, I will not forget, the, I will not forget just like I ain't gonna forget the people that motherfucking helped me, bitch. I'm not gonna forget you hoes, bitch. That motherfucking was on the on the road to success for me, bitch. And you were a part of the stumbling block, or you were a part of the on on the, on the journey. You were a part of of the accidents in the road. I'm not gonna forget that. I ain't gonna forget that either. So th I'm saying this to you, motherfuckers, early. When you see, do you see when Santana popped up? People wanted people wanted me. To have an issue with Santana and um, that and, and that and the City Girl girl because they were on a live together and they was like, "You giving me very queen score." They wasn't talking about me. They was talking about that other motherfucking hoe. Because when I reached out to Santana, it was all love, bitch. And I had Santana on my show because I seen Santana's come up on on the, in the music thing, and I was like, "Bitch, I'm so proud of you, girl. You know, let me be one of these people that's on the side, cause I, on the side." You know, cheering you because I know what it gives. I know what it gives. I know what it takes. And I know how it feels to be supported by your own. To be supported by your own. I know how it feels. And I also know how it feels for, for your own to meet you with resistance. For your own to meet you with resistance. And your own to meet you with, uh, bitch, <laughs> I ain't letting them in. You know how many fucking niggas say shit like, Oh, I ain't finna, um, no. When Craig came home and told me that them people was like, we've been trying to get her for years, but they won't, they won't, they won't, they won't book her. I said, Craig, don't you speak another word to, don't you speak a word to me about them motherfucking niggas over there. Fuck them hoes. Because who did book me was the Impulse Group DC. 
the black group, the Impulse group, DC. And who 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 else beat book me was the national motherfucking. Well, I, let me find that check stub I got. Was the national? I'm gonna say if I said fucked up, I fuck it. Was the national AIDS and HIV organization bitch who booked me to come do something or whatever, bitch? I got the check, the check stub, biggest day from them, bitch. Big fat check I got from them. Big ass check I got from those people. I don't forget. This is why when you try to impress on impress on somebody or you try to communicate with somebody on some, you need to be, and you may not support everybody. You may you don't gotta support everybody. You you ain't gotta support it. It's not your duty. And just like it's not my duty for me, it's it's not my duty or my responsibility to reach to reach and say, well, I'm gonna put this one on. Bitch, I'm putting you on, bitch, by going out there, going through the speed bumps and shit like that. <laughs> in my career so that you may not have to and i'm making videos like this talking to people out there that are watching people shine and come up because guess what don't jump on there with that supporting shit or whatever or want you or want people support supporting you and all this stuff while while they are in a space of come up while they're in the come up space don't 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 be and then you on the side because you don't see it for them oh i don't see it all and then now all of a sudden oh my god i knew you were gonna make it uh, i knew or then you want to critique everything that they do because they done made it and you feel like well bitch they done left me out the situation girl you know what i'm saying or they left me or left how i look or the people like me out of the situation bitch and i don't fuck with that hoe Bitch, you ain't know me when I was going through this to get to the destination. You ain't know me. You ain't know shit about me. Who is that? Who? Oh, I don't. Who? Mm. Anyway, that was my little one-two on that. My little one, two on the situation, whatever, whatever. I'm about to load this up. So if you miss any of this and this stuff was cutting up for you, it was cutting up for you on Instagram, I mean, excuse me, on Facebook, I'm about to load this right now to my YouTube channel and I'm going to premiere it live so that you can watch it. And it, it shouldn't have any skips or bumps or whatever. And then you can leave your comments and questions below. Follow me on my YouTube channel. YouTube.com forward slash T.S. Madison Hinton. And if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you. Thank you very much for watching. But Craig and I are going to have a deep discussion about this on our show uh, after lunch before dinner, with, you know, which we're going to be communicating when we're launching it soon. But I'm going to load this video so that you can watch the first half of the situation and just leave your comments and things below. You know, leave your comments and stuff below. And uh, we'll discuss this a little bit further. I'll probably have a call in about this because I mean, that's the only time I might open up the phone lines later on. Not today, though. Not this Monday. All right. I love you. all I'll talk with y'all later. Bye.